YouTube. A short review today. Um, anyone that watches my channel knows um, I go on canoe trips, out in the woods, all the rest of it, and I hear everybody, I think, we all like a cup of coffee. Now, if you watch my channel, you'll know I have a GSI coffee press. Um, and I've done a review of this while I've been out canoeing and stuff. Um, it's basically a, like a French press. Um, yeah, coffee percolator, whatever you want to call it, a coffee press. Um, now, I went out yesterday and uh, the same company also makes this, which is a Java mill or coffee grinder. And let's look at it. So, I have tested this before, so basically it comes like that. This is its kind of packed away mode. Um, you have a handle on the top which pulls off and um, that's basically a bit like a socket set, you know, a, um, and there's a small lump and it slots into this small hole on here. So you take that off, orange thing, same, pulls off, goes on the other end. So then you've got your handle, that pushes in the top, and there you go, you've got your, co your coffee press, uh, grinder. And the bottom is a small tub, and you adjust it by turning that. Yeah. So anti-clockwise for coarse grind, and then keep turning it in and it basically closes pretty much, so you can get super fine coffee. I'll show you how it works. So basically, you pull the top off. Coffee beans. So, there you go, coffee beans are in the top. Handle on top. Now I am going to use my coffee press, um, and I find for that, Kind of a French grind, French press grind is perfect, um, which is fairly coarse, not too coarse. About there, there you go, and then you just get grinding. There you go, job done. You get a tub full of coffee. That goes in there. Now I've already put some hot water in my flask. And, uh, oh, that smells good. Now the, um, <clears throat> the cone, the, the grinding, part of the machine is ceramic um, so that's what you need very easy to clean out if you're that worried I don't tend to worry about cleaning the, the gearing part of it um, maybe just the, the collection pot now and again um, but we'll let that steep for a little bit and um, like I say it goes very well with this the only downside I think I've seen, um, I think would have been a good idea, was when they made it, or when they designed it, because it's meant to be, it's kind of part of the same set with this GSI travel mug, whatever you want to call it, I would have liked to have seen it able to pack away inside it. 
Unfortunately it doesn't, it's too high at the top. Um, the only way they would have made that is to maybe made this shaft slightly smaller at the top, this top section, for holding the coffee, but then realistically would you be able to get enough coffee out of it? Don't know. But that was a bit of a design miss, I think. But the actual design of the machine is really nice. I like it. It packs down to virtually nothing really. It doesn't weigh much. Yeah. I mean it might sound here how much it weighs. Uh, 9.3 ounces or 265 grams. So it's very lightweight. And uh, yeah. Really good bit of kit. So let's see what kind of coffee I get with this. Probably noticed as well. Oh, big fan, big fan. Well, there you go, guys. That's the uh, GSI Outdoors Java Mill Hand Crank Coffee Grinder. Cheers.